Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 Blind. We are um, out of the place where we found the tools and I've decided to reload the um, this place where we uh, oops uh, before we actually killed the NPC and he's already dead. Oh no he's not. Okay. I killed him by mistake last time. This guy has another arm. What the hell's going on there? Now the reason why I'm reloading from over here where we actually exited the place and before I kill Mitch is because I was worried last time and I thought to myself, hmm... Oh, 50% more damage against humans. Um, I thought to myself, hmm, what if he's an important, you know, character? And indeed, I looked it up quickly and... If I killed him, it would have blocked us from a lot of the quests here. Uh, well, a big chain, so I'm not going to do that. You know, damn those caps, but oh well. Hold up! I've been casing those ghouls for weeks. Waiting for an opening. Then you dive in and choppy chop, bang, bang, and the whole lot of them dead. You yep. even know what you got right there? A premium set of Pelman's power tools. Okay. What's the big deal about these tools? Palmans pumps out more foot pounds of torque than a death claw and psycho. And before Polly ran off, he kept those tools shiny. Nothing like them on this island. Period. Okay, tools are useful. With the shape of the world right now, tools like this are useful. Exactly. You got it. Wait. Oh, Mariner sent you, didn't she? Goddamn Mitch and his big mouth. No matter what she's offering, it's nothing. Serious builders would give an arm for them tools. I'll pay you 2,000 caps right here, well, right now. Deal? You need tools? Why do you need the tools so much? I got my own special projects. For the caps I'm paying, that's all you need to know. Hmm. Tools in a condition like this, they're positively unique. Maybe I should auction them off someplace. Mm. Twenty-seven fifty. Say yes now before I change my mind. Well, that's quite a lot of cabs, but I don't really want to do this. I'll pass on the offer. I ain't hanging around forever. Walk away from this, and you'll regret it. Yeah, and then no, I'm not selling the tools. I mean, that's a lot of money, but no, thank you. Right. So, if you kill him, uh, the Mariner apparently knows that you killed him, and she's not very happy. So anyway, I think I should really just go back, but I just want to explore this area as well, before we do. And then we can go. So pretty. But what's blocking me? Signal. Ooh. Look at those stags. Wow. Well, that one's dead. And that one's confused. It might have been its baby, but now it's someone's lunch. Oh. Some interesting noises. Sounds like... I don't know. It's so foggy. Uh-oh. What's that? Someone's shooting there, isn't there? Yeah, I hear that. What's that? You know what? Let's go investigate. As soon as we get this discovered, so we can travel back to it. There we go. Now let's go investigate the shooting. Let's see what's going on there. There we go. What is that? It's a fire. Is anyone there? I might be too late now. No, nope. there's someone walking there. Super mutant overlord. Okay. Well, that didn't kill him. Where's he gone to now? What's that? Are those people? No, that's some kind of a pier. Hate being messed with like this. 
Hey, Mr. Super Mutant. Wait. Did he kill them or did monsters kill them? Eden Meadows Cinema. Can't even see him. Damn, this shotgun is powerful. I like it. Ooh, excuse me. What does he have? He's got some jet, some Myrler cake. Ugh. Not really sure I want to eat that, but there you go. <laughs> Was he sleeping here alone? Well, with those other two, but it almost seemed like he shot them. Can't do that while in power armor. Brilliant, you can't do anything while in power armor. <laughs> Okay, so let's go back to the uh, to the cinema, explore it, and then go back. I know there's a radio here, but I have it off. It's so annoying that you can't just turn on the radio and that's it. Since chills up my spine, the excitement never stops at Eden Meadow Cinema. Here's what's coming soon. It's murder most foul on a steam train and Bernard Switchback's latest thriller, The Murder Express. You'll be surprised at the killer's locomotive. Wow. What an exciting lineup we have coming <laughs> But none of them can possibly beat what's playing now on screen B. Time to saddle up and circle the wagons as the fighting furies take on bandits, Apache Braves. And even the Confederate Let's... Army. And last stand at Fort McGee. That's so cool. They're all, uh, they're all watching. Okay, that was quite funny. Was... Ah, so much excitement in our cinema. Uh... <laughs> it sounded like a really bored employee. So, there's a lot of them. Poof! Poof! Oh. They're coming! They're coming out of the walls! They're coming out of the walls! Come on. This is so cool. Whoa! That was cool. I like a huge uh, horde of ghouls like that. It's cool. How many times am I going to say that it's cool? <laughs> Let's see. Uh-oh. There's music there. I don't like that. Because it's probably licensed. So I'm going to have to talk very loudly and all the time. Sorry about that. I know. This area is weird. Alright. Uh, so. Oh, there's another. What was that? Oh, no. It's a bomb. Doot, 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 doot. Okay, get out of there. Look at that stupid monkey. Mm. Yeah, right there. Alright, so... There's a Nuka-Cola Quantum. And this thing, which you need pretty high luck to, uh... To do, I believe. I'm not really sure what it does. When you get it. It's probably, uh, it probably gives you good stats if you eat it. This <laughs> is so cool. Fighting Furies. Oh, wow. Can we get into that tower? That would be cool. This, you know, this music is very cool, but it, it kind of reminds me like it's, um... Like, like I'm playing Skyrim or something. What was that? Burnt Lifestyle Magazine? Okay, so I need to go further up. Actually, no, there's the projector. That's big. How is it still working? There we go. That's better. Oh, yeah, that was quite quite amusing here. Right, let's travel back to Far Harbor. Yes, travel. Hello, we're back. We've got stuff with us. Oh, I'm I'm almost out completely of um of uh shotgun shells. So the mariner should be here. You Hello. The tannery? You find my tools yet? Oh yes. Can you tell me about the tannery? A man named Paulie used to camp there. Very handy fellow. Fog rolled in a year back. 
me had to pull up his stake. He left the harbor recently, so everything that's there is fair salvage. Okay. Here are your tools. <clears throat> fair bit of luck running into you. Here's your reward. Well earned. And now to work on the hull. 450. Yeah, that guy was uh, offering us almost 3,000 caps. Well, that's all right. Home breach. Okay, so now what do we got to do? Help Captain Avery, Cassie Dalton. Um, why don't they have any? What do they want me to do? Head south out of town. You'll find the fog condensers along the road. You can't miss them. I thought I already did that. Those fog condensers are back online. There we go. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. Did you find Howard? Is there a next of kin? If so, you should notify them. I should never have let him go out there alone. Well, I said it was paying work. 200 caps should be enough. Ask for more money? Wasted my time. Is there anything else I can do to help? Don't know if you've chatted up the Mariner, but she's always looking for help. I, I know Cassie Dalton was asking around, but... Uh, well, judge for yourself there. All right. Thanks. Glad I can help you out. That makes two of us. Now, here's your pay. I've got to start making arrangements for Howard. So I'll say goodbye. Okay. Now, I usually don't want to ask for more money. Um, because, I, I, I don't know, I don't feel oh, good even taking says, money for this. You know, um, I mean, it's okay, but... It, it most likely wouldn't have affected anything if I did ask for more money. It just gives you a little bit more money and more XP. Uh, but, I don't know. Wait. Oh, there's Teddy. Despite our friendly town doing its best to chase you out, you keep helping us ingrates all the same. I got to ask, why do you keep at it? XP. <laughs> You're good people in some dire straits. Figured you could use a hand. Huh? <laughs> you running for office? Well, if that's the truth, we don't deserve it. Most folk here are set in their ways, yes? It makes no difference how hard you try to get in good with Heck, it took my family three generations before the Daltons would sell us a heel of bread. But there's a way. A downright insane way, mind you. Um. You can turn even the most stubborn fool around. Okay. Why are some harbormen so hostile to outsiders? Most of the folk on this rock believe they've been given the God-given right to walk here. The way <clears> I figure it, if you got the moxie to survive, you earned your place. Okay. I'll hear you out. In olden times, leaders were chosen by something called the Captain's Dance. Legends say <laughs> the toughest, meanest, and outright craziest hopefuls would chum the waters and lure out the worst the island could throw at them. Once the would-be captain killed the Myrler Queen, or Fog Crawler, or what have you, they'd invite the whole island to feast off the bounty. You do this? Well... You won't be made captain, but you'll earn respect. Everyone's respect. Interesting. So if we throw this dance, it'll really change their minds? The dance hasn't been done in living. Oh, door. Some people think their tradition is dead, but its history is so deep in this island. You do it, and it'll turn heads for certain. Why are you helping me? My job is to heal people, and not just from the physical type of injuries. The island's in trouble like it's never been. And you might, just might, be the medicine we desperately need. Alright. I'm ready to become a legend then. You what? <laughs> you crack me up. There's an old Meyer Lurk feasting grounds by Emmett's Causeway. A treacherous stretch along the coast. Go there and throw any kind of meat you got into the water. All that blood and viscera will be sure to attract attention. And then wait. I'll make sure there's a witness or two. Prove to the rest of these clods you belong. Okay. Rite of passage. Drop meat in the water. The harbor's being good to you. Uh, so we've got one more quest here. Wait. Cassie Dalton. There we go. Back to old Longfellow. Uh, is 
Se la mano. Okay. There's so much stuff. Okay, so we need to talk to this guy. My grandpappy had a super power armor. Oh, it's really? Oh, that's cool that they actually acknowledge that you've got power armor. Those feral ghouls come at you quick. Poor Petey learned that the hard way. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant. Ha <laughs> I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. I want more money. So, who else needs to be avenged? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. What happened to him? He had a farm little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life, working the land, and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster, mean as spit, and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. Hmm. Where can I find this farm? Follow the coastline to the north. Wait, I already killed it? The fog crawler at the farm? It's already dead. Wonderful. <laughs> That's another chapter successfully concluded. You truly are the heroic Avenger I hoped you were. With that fog crawler gone, we can send some folks up there to get the place ready for you. Ah. That's right. The farm is yours. Your own little piece of the island. It'll take work to get it up and running again, but you'll have help. And here's another 200 caps in gratitude for your service to the great Dalton lineage. Nice. Who else needs to be avenged? I was just about to explain. Okay. Now, I don't have to tell you that the bonds of blood and family are strong. As strong as any a person can know. But if you ask me, the strongest among them is the bond that exists between two married people. That's why the last part of this tale is the hardest one for me to tell. You were married. What happened? My late husband, Daniel, was the best fisherman this island ever saw. He and his crew had a favorite fishing spot out by Brooks Head Lighthouse. One day, a day I'll never forget, I see Danny's boat pulling up with his crewmen all shouting and carrying on. Turns out some trappers moved into the lighthouse. No doubt because the island told them to. They're all crazier than a bag of mole rats. Their leader was having a little target practice. Shot Danny right between the eyes. Ouch. Killed him, just like that. You go and get that son of a bitch. You make him pay for doing the island's bidding. I already did it. Oh, really? I already did it? How do I get to the Brookshead Lighthouse? It's southwest of town. Not far from the quarry. Mm, oh, consider it done. Okay. I'll make that trapper pay. All right, then. Remember, trappers may be half crazy from the fog, but they still know how to use a gun. All right. Well, that's nice. Okay, so let's go in here. You need work? Talk to the mariner. Lord knows she's always carrying on about something. All right. I already did that. The last plank. Well... We're going to, uh... God, Tink didn't mean anything by it, Mitch. I swear, her tail's a menace. Does she even know it's attached to her bleeding hide? If you want me to work in this flea-ridden bar of yours, you'll watch your tone. <laughs> Fine. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. I certainly am. This is, uh, this is a fun DLC. I like it. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.
Bye-bye.